Gentleman Prepper One here, and today we're going to talk about wine made from food storage. Wine made from food storage is fun and easy and quick, and you can do this at home. If you get any of these juice, and we keep juice in addition to our water storage, and if it starts to go past where we're for comfortable drinking it, we uh, basically make wine out of it. Pour it into a large container. Let it heat up. Don't even let it boil. Just let it heat up and, you know, start to steam a little bit to about that point right there. That's where we also clean our equipment that we might use. Then we take it, dip it, pour it into a carboy. It's nice when you're using uh, red coloring to keep something in case you get a spill. Add yeast, neutralize. Neutralize at nutrient. Sorry, uh, one teaspoon for each gallon. Add your yeast to it. This is actually easy. Add your yeast that you collected from a previous batch. And uh, bring it up to about that point. I have already got leaves in there because it came off the other batch. These are the leftover um, yeast that floats. Not a big deal. It'll come off in the first rack. I put it to about there, maybe a little lower, not much higher. And uh, that gives a good oxygenation level. Then you uh, take one of these, dip it in your hot water. Yow. Cork it. And uh, put it up. You're good to go. Um, what I would suggest is how you do this on the cheap is these are about a dollar fifty, a dollar eighty, name brand, it doesn't matter. Just keep a couple in your food storage and whenever you get time, do this. Then I go and get Carlo Rossi bottles. Um, trust me, uh, you definitely want the sangria. Um, and just buy one every two weeks. You know, when it gets empty and you got a couple, you know, it's worth the time to go ahead and get some yeast, get some air locks, and uh, heat it up, dump it in there, and you're good to go. Um, you want this to come down to room temperature before you put a yeast in and keep your yeast if you uh, are cultivating yeast. That's a little more advanced. You might you're better off just using champagne yeast or cider yeast. And you can do apple cider, you can do real apple cider, you can do it from fruit juice. Don't suggest lavender, but make sure it's house smell nice. And um, yeah, just buy one bottle of Carl, uh, Carlo Rossi. I promise you the sangria is the best one that they have. And uh, just drink it down and and uh, keep a couple bottles and uh, you know start switching it out your um, food storage you're not wasting anything this way you're making alcohol which is saving you money because you're not drinking alcohol you would buy and you're also saving money by drinking really crappy wine like Carlo Rossi and this stuff actually turned out way better than Carlo Rossi and this is not just one of my recipes I got many we usually do about four or five batches a year and half of it we give away. You know, family wants it, friends want it. Take it to a party. T this stuff on a beach with a two liter of 7-Up makes everybody just about as happy as you can be. Go down to the river, just fantastic. Um, I'm about to make another video where I actually cut the apples and make the sugar wine, but uh, that's in another video. Gentlemen Prepper, out.